Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to the Scrap FX Art Journaling channel. Today we are going to be looking at doing some scrap um, scraped layer backgrounds. And I'm starting off with my small dilutions journal and I'm just starting off with a whole heap of different colored acrylic paints. The ones I'm using here are the Dina Wakeley ones. And just with an old credit card, well this is actually a gift um, gift certificate sorry um, I'm just scraping the paint across the background and I'm scraping it into a um, journal that I've got pages left over in so I, <clears throat> I'm not wasting any paint because if you've seen the video I've just done before here um, talking about my use it up journal I don't like wasting paint I can always make it into another background somewhere so I'm going in with now contrasting color now the important thing to doing this technique is to dry your layers off in between so because we're working with acrylic paint um, when they're wet they will mix colors and you'll end up with brown if you dry them off you'll see these um, layers develop over the top it does look like a hot mess it's supposed to and um, once you're finished with it you'll be really surprised how it suddenly transforms this is just the base coat that we're going to do stuff with and sometimes having a really ugly background really helps your creativity because you think well I've got this background how can I possibly ruin it anymore so let's just add stuff to it so this is one of the new collage rice papers this is the sketchings number one I think by Michelle Logan and I absolutely adore this page it's one of the best collage things ever Michelle is a highly talented clever person um, who does amazing work her um, doodling and detailing and handwriting are just fabulous so I'm just using gel medium to glue this down on the page and um, being really haphazard with how I'm tearing it down I'm trying not to cover up too much of my background but I am getting a little bit carried away because I just love every time you tear this you end up with something new the great thing about the collage rice papers though and using gel medium with them is they go translucent so you can see what's happening underneath them so if you do have a background you love it is still going to peep through the next thing I'm going to do is now stamp over the top just to sort of tie everything together so I'm using the letters and numbers circle this is a large one and a fuchsia uh, archival ink from Ranger the great thing about the foam stamps is um, because they are thin and so flexible you can stamp them across the um, spine like I've just done in this um, session the other thing is <clears throat> even though you don't look like you have much ink on it it actually holds a great deal of ink so this is the new line marking stamp set and again just using some colors that I've already got on the page so you are repeating colors that you have um, I'm just adding in some extra marks so I'm um, overlapping these funky lines and they're quite bold in comparison to what sort of else is happening on the page it just adds the overall detail so once I'd finished um, doing my mark making in the background I wanted to add in this stencil because it is one of my favorite stencils and <clears throat> I am not particular about how I use stencils so stencils to me don't have a right or wrong side I know officially they do there's only one side you're supposed to use with them but particularly with stencils like this I like flipping them around um, so they fit onto the page the way I want them to um, particularly sort of directional ones like this so this is the freedom girl stencil from scrap fx it comes with a mask as well which is really really handy to have just to sort of make a visionette of my page and sort of give it a bit of a border I'm just going in with the excess paints grey that I've got and just darkening up the edges and I really like doing that in pages like this um, I'm also again using up my paint I'm not wasting it and scraping it into my page now the reason I use paints grey is I find sometimes black is too harsh so um, using something that is um, dark but not black really helps uh, this is <clears throat> A sneak peek of a new product that is being released soon um, this is Adina Wakely gloss um, acrylic sprays which is basically like um, an acrylic ink so I'm using it as an acrylic ink and I'm splattering it across my page now the great thing is it comes in those beautiful um, colors that I've used in the background already so the magenta the turquoise the lime green um, so I can replicate the colors that I've already used because one of the things I really love about art journaling pages is um, 
repetition. If you repeat colours, if you repeat patterns, it helps to tie the whole page together. One thing I hope you saw me do, well I hope you didn't see me do, but I did do it so I'm warning you. Um, I actually applied the heat tool while that mask was still on and it actually reacted with the plastic. So do remove your mask or your stencils um, before you heat it up because you will bend and warp them so you won't be able to use them as effectively as you have done in the past. So use my silliness as um, an example of what not to do. Um, just to finish off this page, because I really love the background, I didn't want to do too much to it. I'm just finishing off with a quote, again this is from another rice, one of the collage rice papers that have just been released. Um, when you love what you have, you do everything you need. Oh, you have everything you need. I just thought it was perfect because I loved what I had on this page and it was everything I needed. Um, it certainly was a pickup because I was having a bit of a funk with how some things were working for me and I did this page and just the colours in it really sang for me. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Um, these scraped paint backgrounds are a fantastic technique to have. If you're not an art journaler, um, the techniques I used in this make brilliant background pages for mixed media scrapbooking pages or you could do a big page and cut it up and make gorgeous card fronts as well. So it's not limited to your art journal. Please think outside the box and see what else you can do with it. Until next time, bye for now.